On his own again, original man did not understand the things he saw on his journeys. He looked to Mamo Gosnan for the answers. Creator spoke to original man and told him that across a vast lake lived his Nokmas. She had the wisdom of the spirits and the answers he was seeking, for it is the elders who carried the knowledge of all things. Finding such a lake, original man thought how he could get across. Remembering a whale he met on his travels and its ability to swim, original man cut down a tree and shaped the bottom of the log like the stomach of the whale. He also recalled how beavers used their webbed feet and flat tails to glide through the water, and from this he carved a cedar paddle. With his canoe and paddle, original man set out for the distant shore. He used the sun, moon, and stars as a compass. After several days, he finally reached Nokmas. Nokmas was old and wanting to make a better life for her. Original man harvested birch bark to build a wigwam and craft buckets for food. He hunted, providing animal skins for clothes. Everything was done in accordance with the seasons. For his hard work, Nokmas gifted original man a bandolier bag to carry things on his travels. Staying indoors during the winter months, Nokmas instructed original man through stories. She taught him that Mamogosnan first created Gizus so that he could have light to see. Next was the morning star to tell of the approaching sun, and finally, a place on which to put life. The first place created was covered with a cloud. Next was a rock full of heat, and another covered with ice. On his fourth attempt, he created earth, a place so perfect that he sent singers in the form of birds to spread the seeds of new life. Nokmas taught original